Alright, what is it? Here it is. Oh! Hello everybody and welcome back to the Medbridge channel and man it has been a minute since we have posted on the channel. <laughs> and honestly I don't have too good of an excuse for it. I really have just been busy doing this and this, a little bit of this and also a little bit of this. Shaman and Paneeth have been busy studying for the biggest exams of their life, step one. Either way, I have just graduated as well, officially having the title doctor now. We don't need to write student doctor in our titles anymore. We can finally write doctor reacts. So that's exciting. And of course, I'm very late to the match day video reveal, but that is what we're gonna be talking about in this video. And I have a lot of catching up to do with you guys. So a lot of videos coming up soon as well. So let's get right into what residency am I gonna be attending for the next three years? That's a little bit of a hint for you. So after weighing my options and going through all the different specialties out there, I have finally decided that I am going to be doing residency as of now in internal medicine. And I was lucky enough to stay in the beautiful state of California. I have so many different interests right now and my plans are just to get my feet wet in internal medicine, be the best hospitalist doctor I can be. And from there, I have my eyes set on a few specialties that, uh, that I'm very passionate about. But let's get into how I made this decision because it was a very difficult decision to make, I'll tell you that much. There are so many different ways you can use a medical degree and so many different directions you can go into. It was really hard to kind of pinpoint down to what I wanna do. And actually the inability to pinpoint what I wanted to do is kind of what has led me to internal medicine. So other fields that I was seriously considering, on top of the list was psychiatry. I absolutely loved my psychiatry rotation. I love everything about what psychiatry is. I think psychiatry and the psyche of an individual is something that's really overlooked when looking at the health and overall wellness of a person. Even illnesses, many can be linked to the psychiatric well-being of an individual. So, so if I love it so much, why the hell did I not go into psychiatry? Well, ultimately it came down to what I wanted to be doing long-term with my career. And I really wanted to do something where I can get my hands involved into it. I really wanna do some procedures. I really wanna get into some nitty gritty medicine as well with my career. Uh, so ultimately it really came down to that decision. I just found my passion and what I wanna do really lies more on the hard, more hardcore medicine uh, side of things. So that's why I wanted to get more involved, especially or feel that is more involved with the medicine aspect. And with Within medicine as well, I could incorporate a lot of the psych, talking to patients, trying to get to the bottom of what's going on, and taking all these other components. So basically, I could also use those things in my practice. So I feel like they kind of suited me a little better to go down IM. Another one I was seriously considering was orthopedic surgery. You can get your hands as dirty as you want, get in there, get super you know, procedural with it. The community there was really awesome. Every orthopedic surgeon I met has been really cool. Um, and really what came down to here was it was a little late in the game. I hadn't done any orthopedic research, rotations, et cetera. Well, not enough orthopedic rotations. I didn't really have an orthopedic resume and I wasn't as passionate about it to take years off to go ahead and make that resume. So again, kind of knocked out of the ranks and, and Internal medicine really was there for me as a place where I can go learn my medicine and it's still open enough that I can go ahead and do whatever I want after because there are a lot of ways you can take internal medicine. For those of you guys that don't know, internal medicine is a really kind of broad field you can go into and from there you can jump into the different systems in our body, cardiovascular, uh, GI, rheumatology, endocrinology. Um, you can do a variety of different things. Whether you want to do procedures, you can go do cardiology and you know do PCIs and really uh, help people when they're having heart attacks and open up those vessels. Uh, you can do GIs, put scopes down and you know take biopsies and look for cancers. Uh, or you can take a, a, another route like rheumatology where you're seeing patients in clinics. So a lot of different options and I feel like I wasn't ready to really dedicate to something entirely quite yet. That's why I really wanna take that internal medicine route. And at the same time, internal medicine allowed me to really play up to my strengths, stuff that I really like, stuff that I really enjoy, and also really learn the medicine aspect. And then from there, make a decision because my the, the, the net to make the decision is still very wide. So all these reasons kind of pinned me down to internal medicine in the end. And from here, gonna probably face a similar problem in a couple years where I have to choose, hey, what specialty do you wanna go with uh, for the next step? So, so basically, I'm still open to being very open and I'm still open and it's all open. 
Now, also, I have matched to a program, an awesome, awesome program, and I get to stay in California, and I will be taking you guys along with me. Now, we are not going to be taking a look at a medical student. I'm gonna be taking you guys along for the transition to becoming a resident, and I fully expect there to be a lot of challenges, a lot of hardship, especially now with this whole coronavirus situation that I'm literally going to be starting in, uh, along with the rest of my peers and all the, you know, amazing nurses, everybody that's on the faculty and, and, and in our healthcare system working super hard to fight this, uh, you know, whole coronavirus business, uh, jumping in on that. And then you guys can follow me on my transition, which I, I will say I'm definitely nervous about. But basically, I have a few more weeks. I'm in the process of packing a bunch of stuff, and I'll definitely be vlogging it all and taking you guys with me. And it's gonna it's gonna be a fun ride. And I thank all of you guys that have been here from the start of the channel when Shaman started the channel with his tips, and then we kind of went more along the medical student life. And Shaman's also going to be back. He's going to be totally. F not totally free, but definitely more free than he is right now studying for step one once he's done with this exam. And you guys are gonna see a lot more of him as well because he's been caught up with doing research and, and doing uh, uh, other studying because he's going for a really competitive specialty along with Beneath. And um, you're gonna see a lot more of us very soon. We're gonna get this channel lit, guys. So thank you guys so much for being with us this whole time. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe. We got a lot of awesome stuff on this channel. Make sure you go check it out. And so nice to be back. It's like talking to an old friend over here. So thank you guys for tuning in once again and listening to me ramble on and on and on. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, I mean